Oh, g'day guys, so... Later. The horse is here. What the fuck? Oh, hey other me. Uh, what are you doing on the toilet? Peter. Huh? The horse is here. What? Who's Peter? You are... I am. G'day everyone, so we finally got the uh, live stream of the Horse Ranch trailer pack. Trailer pack? What the fuck am I saying? <laughs> the Horse Ranch expansion pack. And the reason I say live stream is because it wasn't a live stream. The entire live stream was pre-recorded. I can already hear you. Stop, no. Oh, but Will, it was live anyway. There was a live chat. No, that's not what makes it a live stream, okay? That's just a premiere, basically. Don't know what a premiere is? Basically, okay, so when you upload a video to YouTube, you have several options. So when you publish it, you can choose between public, private, unlisted, or premiere. A premiere is basically you choose a time when the video will launch and it will launch live so that everyone can watch it together, including you. And then after that, it just becomes a normal video. Premieres have live chats as well. well why am I explaining this? You guys already know what the fuck a premiere is. So it wasn't a live stream and that pisses me off. Why does that piss me off? Well, with it being a pre-recorded video, that means they can take the best footage that they captured and just use that. With a live stream, they kind of show everything. There's no escaping bugs and glitches and shit. So it makes it very difficult to see how buggy this pack is gonna be. And the fact that it was pre-recorded makes me think that eh, maybe it is pretty buggy. Otherwise, why the fuck wouldn't they just make it a live stream? And also it was like half the length of every other live stream they do for expansion packs. This one was an hour. Normally they go for like two hours, which is just, mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> anyway, let's bring it up and uh, let's go through just the important parts. I'm not gonna go through all of it because, oh, fuck that. Okay, so basically they started by going through like the Kaz items for the horses. Apparently there's like 30 something breeds, which I think is great, but also kind of slightly worries me. Why am I worried? Well, that basically means it's probably gonna be like one model with like different items taped onto it. <laughs> Obviously like with the cats and dogs, you can change like the certain like physical aspects of them. You can give them a huge ass. You can, <laughs> what the fuck? You know what I mean? But uh, I'm not the biggest fan of this because like with the dogs and the cats and stuff in Cats and Dogs, they had the same system and they had like the different breeds like presets. Some of them uh, don't look so great. Fun fact, I have two mini dash hounds here and here. Um, they're really cute. <laughs> uh, but the problem is with the Sims 4, I can't make them because sure the small horse, small horse? The small dog, what the fuck? The small dog in the game. Although you can change the physical attributes, it there's certain limitations. You can't change the length, you can't change the leg height, that sort of thing. And uh, you know, Dashyans being long and uh, very short legs, it's impossible to recreate a Dashyan. So the horses also have a bunch of traits that you can choose from, like aggressive, brave, defiant, intelligent, needy, friendly, all that sort of shit, just like the cats and dogs. And they have three trait slots, so yeah, pretty good. Honestly, with the limited amount of selection, you probably don't want more than three. I'm fine with this, I'm happy with this, it looks cool. Now the Kaz. I've heard a lot of people shitting on the Kaz, and uh, honestly, I can't relate. <laughs> I think it looks fucking awesome. I don't know, I really like the style. Um, the hairstyles, I fucking hate. I don't know, but just like recently, any hairstyle that we get is always very, very similar to ones that we already have. And they always include at least one fucking mullet. Why? I'm so sick of all the mullets, like God. We have too many now. We don't need another mullet, I swear to God. But the clothes I really like. Of course, like the younger life stages were left out. No surprise there. <laughs> they have like a few tops and like the toddlers have this like fucking horse onesie. And that's like it. Also something that really annoys me. Um, They love to preach that uh, this is gonna have a bunch of Native American representation. Yet everyone is asking, um, where is it? And that's cause it's barely there. You see, from the way I see it, uh, Sims 4 sees like inclusion as um, adding new foods. I don't know why they do this, but whenever they talk about like the diversity, it's always like, oh, we added a bunch of new foods, guys. Are you excited? I am. I'm not. <laughs> it's just dumplings aren't diversity, guys. <laughs> <laughs> right, so about the world. It looks pretty from what we've seen. There's a lot of smaller lots, which um, it's kind of weird for a horse expansion. You'd expect them to have bigger lots so that you can actually, you know, 
have a horse ranch, but there are a few large ones. And the town center feels pretty cool for like a Wild West theme. I'm honestly really surprised they didn't incorporate like trains that much. Like they got one train track going through the thing, but like it's on like that outside of the map. So what, what's the point? Like you can see that here, there's like one train line, but that's it. Why didn't they just have like a train stop that comes through the town somewhere or like on the side of the town? And then you could make that like a way to travel into like different worlds. That'd be sick because trains were booming at this time. It's like, it's a whole part of the Wild West. I will say though, I do love pretty much all the builds in this. I know they got on some Sims creators to do that and they all look really good. The, the builds, that is, not the creators. <laughs> <laughs> However, the actual like main town center looks very bare and like dead. Like I get in this live stream when they were showing it off, it was like 8.30 at night in game. But like there's just no one. It's a ghost town. <laughs> it's very, very empty. So that could be an issue. I guess we're not going to really find out until it releases and everyone gets to play with it. Now the animations that they showed off all look really good. You can see a lot of work has been put into the animations. But you gotta remember, this isn't a live stream. This is pre-recorded. So it's like essentially another cinematic trailer just without the cinematics. <laughs> but it does look pretty all right. Although I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out there are a lot of bugs with the horses. But once again, we're not gonna find out until, you know, we get to play with it. Yeah, so here they are showing off the food again because apparently different food dishes means diversity. Okay. Like seriously, there's so much more you could have done. Why is it always just the foods? It's not hard, guys. There's fucking Wikipedia. Just look up Native American culture on Wikipedia. You'll get a shit ton of ideas from that. Oh, and they did actually show off some new gameplay. That being the prairie grass. Hell yeah. No, but essentially what the prairie grass does is you can like harvest it with a scythe and collect it. And you can use that as food for your horse. That's cool, I like that. And on from that, depending on what you feed your horse, is gonna depend on the quality of its shit. Yeah, you heard that right, guys. There are gonna be different qualities to the horse shit. Because the horse shit is gonna be used as fertilizer, the different qualities are gonna depend on how good of a fertilizer it is. So depending on how well you're taking care of your horse, it's gonna depend on how well the shit is gonna fertilize, <laughs> which is good. I'm glad they did that. It's not just all horse shit is the best fertilizer. Cause you know, it just adds a little bit more depth and it's always appreciated. And so once again, they're showing off the fucking, uh, what do you call it? Nectar wine. It's wine. Let's be real, it's wine. I'm not calling it fucking nectar, it's wine. They're showing off the wine making again. You know, the stomping on the grapes and shit. Seen it a million times, I'm so sick of it already. <laughs> it should have been moonshine. I still think it should have been moonshine, okay? But I will say though, I am loving the build vibe for this pack. A lot of people are like, eh, iffy about it, you know, it's kind of stuff we've already got, you know. Me, I'm over here like, holy shit, I want this in my builds. <laughs> and I'm not even a good builder. But it looks really cool, it looks nice, I love it. I do wish they would have shown us it in the day, you know, so that we could have actually properly seen it. But yeah, I really like it. I also like these little animal dickles. Dickles? <laughs> Decals that you can put on like the gates. They're really cool. Love them. Love them, Dickles. <laughs> anyway, all in all, my opinions on this pack, it's looking pretty good. I'm once again excited. <laughs> and it comes out soon, so thank fuck I want to play it. But I do think it does leave some things to be desired. I think there's a lot more that they could have included, but they decided not to. From what I've seen, it looks like a bit of an alright pack. I'm excited for it. I want to play it. I won't be able to really get a feel of you know, what I think of the pack until it releases and I get to play it. Now, if you like this video, please, please, please drop a like, please. <laughs> or subscribe, one of the two, your choice. Or you could do both. That'd be cool. You'd be a real one if you did that. No, but seriously, if you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe? We just recently hit 200 subscribers. Fuck yeah! It wasn't that long ago I was celebrating 40, but you all seem to really love my video, so I'm very happy with that. I'm super grateful for all of you. Anyways, I'll see every single one of you in the next one. Take care.